As tensions and threats grew increasingly sophisticated, the requirement for advanced missile systems pushed the world to rewrite the rules of engagement on the battlefield. Today, our focus will be on the deadliest U.S. missiles crafted to safeguard national security. A GM-158JSM, an advanced long-range missile made by Lockheed Martin. It's about 4.35 meters long and weighs roughly 1,000 kilograms. Its wings flip out and a vertical tail helps it hit targets precisely. It is excellent at destroying both stationary and moving targets. It's adaptable and can be used on planes like the B-1, B-2, B-52, F-16, F-15E, Australia's F-A-18AB, and Finland's F-A-18CD, making it effective even at night. It has an onboard navigation system that uses AJ GPS and a ring laser gyro inertial measurement unit to follow specific routes. It also has tools for accurate targeting, like an I-2R seeker, ATC, and Locaeus with LADAR and MMW seekers. Its HTSF helps it tell the difference between earth, concrete, rock, and air. The FMU-156B fuse in the warhead uses a 150-gram PBXN9 booster. This 1,000-pound class WDU-42B warhead holds 240 pounds of explosive called AFX-757. RIM-161 SM-3 It is a defense missile designed to intercept theater ballistic missiles. It's part of the Aegis weapon system, using kinetic kill vehicles to strike missiles mid-flight. Its unique feature is its capability to work in space. It is the only standard missile built for space conditions. It comes in different versions. Block YA and IB interceptors focus on destroying short to intermediate range ballistic missiles during mid-course. Testing led to SM-3 Block 2A successfully intercepting an ICBM class target. Plans for SM-3 Block 2B were dropped in favor of common kill vehicle development for standard missiles and ground-based interceptors. Tomahawk Cruise Missile It launched from ships and submarines and hits targets over 1,000 miles away, even in defended airspace. The current variant, Block 4 Tactical Tomahawk, can change targets mid-flight via a data link and instantly alter course. In 2020, the U.S. Navy recertified and modernized the Tomahawk missile, extending its service life by 15 years. This led to the introduction of the Tomahawk Block 5 series. It includes the upgraded Tactum with improved navigation and communication. It's followed by Block 5A, engaging moving sea targets, and Block 5B. It is a versatile multi-effects warhead for varied land targets. It has undergone 550 flight tests and has been used over 2,300 times in combat. In 2018, U.S. Navy launched 66 Tomahawk missiles at Syrian chemical weapon facilities. AIM-1-120 AMRAAM This is an advanced beyond visual range combat missile styled for all weather conditions. Operational beyond 2000, it's used by the Air Force, U.S. Navy, and Allied Forces. It is compatible with F-15, F-16, F-22, F-35, and F-A-18 CF aircraft. It improves aerial capabilities with active radar, inertial reference unit, and microcomputer system. Its active radar guides the missile autonomously for interception. It succeeded the AIM-7 Sparrow series and is smaller, faster, and more efficient. It was validated through tests and entered full-scale development in 1987 under Hughes Aircraft Company and Raytheon Company. More than 200 test missiles were launched with proven combat effectiveness. It has dimensions of 143.9 inches in length, 335 pounds in launch weight, and 7 inches in diameter. It is 20.7 inches in wingspan. It achieves supersonic speeds and covers over 20 miles in range. Minuteman 3 ICBM This is a vital element of the nation's strategic defense capabilities. It is securely stored in fortified silos and connected to an underground launch control center through robust cables. Effective communication systems ensure reliable contact between the President, Secretary of Defense, and launch crews. It provides swift response, high survivability, and an almost 100% alert rate. The current ICBM force includes 400 Minuteman III missiles stationed at FE Warren AFB, Malmstrom AFB, and Minot AFB. It employs three solid propellant rocket motors. The first stage employs an ATK refurbished M55A1, the second stage utilizes an ATK refurbished SR-19, and the third stage incorporates an ATK refurbished SR-73. It weighs approximately 79,432 pounds 
and boasts a diameter of around 5.5 feet. It covers a range exceeding 6,000 miles. It attains speeds of approximately 15,000 miles per hour at burnout. Its altitude can reach 700 miles. A GM-114 Hellfire This is a versatile weapon used by various military branches. It's powered by solid propellant rockets. It measures 5.33 feet in length, with a 7-inch diameter and 28-inch wingspan. Weighing 98 to 107 pounds, it carries a shaped charge and blast fragmentation warhead. The Hellfire has anti-tank capabilities and can engage helicopters and slow-moving aircraft. It serves air-to-ground and air-to-air -air roles, guided from within the aircraft or by lasers. It's used on diverse aircraft. Navy's SH-60, BH-H-60H Seahawk, Army's AH-64 Apache, Marine's AH-1W Super Cobra, Air Force's MQ-1 Predator, and Reaper. Its advancements continue via collaboration between APX Lab and PMA-242. It can also cater to close air support and urban missions. The RS-28 Sarmat. This is an intercontinental ballistic missile developed by Russia. It is a liquid-fueled powerhouse. Silo, based on its basing, this has dimensions of 35.3 meters in length and 3.0 meters in diameter. With a launch weight of 208,100 kilograms, it can accommodate a payload of 10,000 kilograms. It has nuclear payloads, MIRVs, and glide vehicles. Its propulsion system is composed of three stages, powered by liquid fuel. It entered development as a successor to the SS-18 Satan ICBM, with origins tracing back to the 2000s. The culmination of research and development efforts resulted in the completion of the Sarmat ICBM's prototype by late 2015. It underwent rigorous testing, including silo ejection tests in December 2017, March, and May 2018. While technical deficiencies surfaced during the initial test, subsequent ones proved successful. Its anticipated deployment shifted to the year 2021. The delay highlights the intricate nature of its development. AIM-9 Sidewinder It is an air-to-air -air missile equipped on fighter aircraft, featuring a supersonic speed, heat-seeking guidance, and a high-explosive warhead. Its design incorporates a cylindrical body with a stabilizing rear wing and detachable control surfaces. Its key components include an infrared homing guidance, an active optical target detector, a high-explosive warhead, and a rocket motor. The infrared guidance system allows it to track target aircraft engine exhaust. It is operating effectively in day, night, and countermeasure conditions. The system enables autonomous missile guidance, freeing up pilots for evasive actions. It is powered by Hercules and Burmite MK-36 Mod 11. It measures 9 feet, 5 inches in length, and 5 inches in diameter. Its fin span is 2 feet, 3 by 4 inches. It launches at 190 pounds. RGM-84 Harpoon This is a ship launched, all season, over-the-horizon anti-ship missile designed for high effectiveness and survivability. The Harpoon Block II increases its capabilities, enabling both anti-ship and land strike missions. Utilizing GPS-aided inertial navigation, it can strike designated land targets precisely. The Royal Australian Navy plans to replace the aging Harpoon with the Naval Strike Missile in 2024. During RIMPAC 2010, the Anzac-class frigate HMAS Warramunga test fired a Harpoon Block II missile. It has a Teledyne turbojet and solid propellant booster for propulsion, with a thrust of 272 kilograms. It weighs 690.8 kilograms and has a diameter of 34.3 centimeters. It measures 4.6 meters in length with a wingspan of 91.4 centimeters. It offers a range of 124 kilometers. It is utilized by frigates and helicopters for anti-ship cruise missile functions. It stands as a versatile and potent tool for naval warfare. MIM-104 Patriot It is an advanced air defense system produced by Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. It counters missiles and aircraft with versions like GEMT and PAC-3, offering accurate defense. These upgrades increase range and effectiveness, and they integrate with the IBCS for better control. Its key components include the M901 launching station, which remotely launches four missiles, the ANMSQ-104 control station coordinates operations and communication. Its radar detects, tracks, and guides missiles with upgrades. Engagement can be manual or automatic, with missile trajectory monitored via command uplink and TVM downlink. And there you have it, a closer look at some of the most powerful and lethal missiles.
If you were as amazed by their capabilities, show your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't miss out on more captivating content. Hit that subscribe button and join our community.